For some reason, I wrote a script while I was tipsy, and I pretty much ended up finding that script. So you know what that means, you know what we're gonna do. I'll probably read the Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2 review back to back. They'll be much easier. So there we go. Welcome to the Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 review. The only review about the Sonic game that looks like anime uwu and plays like one too. Just like Mega Man on PS1 slash Saturn. It's kinda cool I guess. So Sonic Adventure 1 plus 2 are both games that I have no technical knowledge about. What? You expected a cool Sonic tuber to talk about the details here? No! None of that here! I don't want to deal with this part of the fandom. I've been in message boards in the 2000s. I've seen things. So what is Sonic? A blue hedgehog of frickin' course? A blue capitalist hedgehog? Hey hey hey! Buy my stuff! And you can get more stuff later! As Sonic and friends go on their adventure, they find Chaos Emerald. Oh no, just like that guy from PS1 Plus 2, also on Dreamcast. But there's the Eggman, who is out to get the Chaos Emeralds too, because this series needs sci-fi. Eggman has the sci-fi. So the thing about Sonic Adventure 1 is that the controls are very floaty, unlike Super Mario 64. Super Mario 64 has tight controls, but Sonic floats a bit like Knights. Go by Knights, you freaking fracks! So the thing is that while I'm okay about the controls, the level design is more creative than a bottle of vodka in my throat. <laughs> Yeah! Caves, fishing, and an evil base full of robots! It's so much fun! Plus there are ob worlds where you can roleplay your whole life! I have some lives until you run out of them! When you run out of the lives, you get this cool game over music! Tutu. Tito Tito! Sonic music! It rocks! Just like the voice acting! Sonic Adventure's story is about how experimenting with animals and bad. And Sonic should abolish the system. Like communist Gamma. Gamma. Gamma is the best Sonic character. I've reached the end of the page. Stick around for my review of Sonic Adventure Dur. Welcome to the big Sonic Adventure Dur review, where I will review Sonic Adventure 2. And I don't care which version I'm talking about, all that matters now is how cool life is! Yeah! Oh whoa, I put this in my script on purpose, with three characters and three recycled characters. Sonic Adventure 2 knows how to know itself. I love T, just like I love the treasure hunting stages. Ah uh, yeah, the crowd is going wild for the Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog is the annoying Vegeta wannabe who likes to play chess with himself. That's my head cannon, I think. That's why he loves Maria. Who is Maria? That's what I wondered when I had played Shadow's level. It was a total tone shift which shook my world in a surprising way. Way. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Also, the thing about this game is that it's less an adventure and more of an Hollywood chase. The levels are more linear, the story is darker, and there are so many explosions. I wish it was directed by Michael Bay. Wannabe Hollywood games were all over the place in Japan, and Sonic Adventure 2 is no different. It's greater than the greatest great. So we go in a jungle, space, the city, etc. It's very diverse and fun. Like, bring it on, you shooting bastards! And it all takes place on a very specific map. Also, Chow Garden. Chow Gardens are great. At first, 
When I read the magazine, I thought the Chao Garden was its own game, but it's just a sole attraction. That's more impressive than being gay. I'm a gay, yahoo! Sure, the story isn't as plot provoking as Clonoa 2, but hey, you got power-ups, which you all have to find in order to get the real 100% true ending. And I was like, I didn't expect that. There's more content? I like more content. But yeah, this slaps for a shorter game. You even have 180 objectives if you want to suffer. And there's even a secret level, which I used action replay to play. So yeah, Sonic Adventure 2 is more amazing than shredded cheese on a garlic bread. Yeah, garlic bread. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever do that again. Either way, if you really enjoyed that for some reason, like, comment, and subscribe. I don't know. I don't know.